food. We don't have a smiley function just yet uh, on your screen. It is quite a large smiley face and that is okay. By the time we're done, hopefully we'll have a giant screen filled with these smiley faces in row column order. Uh, hopefully it'll help you with your uh, scales function or scales assignment due this Friday. Uh, pretty basic stuff from drawing. Uh, you have an arc. I guess this one might be the new stuff. You have your two ends of your lines defined by the points 200, 200. Oh, I stopped running it. Okay. And then you have the degrees to which the smile like starts and stops. Roughly 30 degrees and 150 degrees. Remember that the uh, rotation goes clockwise versus counterclockwise in math class. All right. So what do now? Now we want to draw, um, this is kind of the new stuff because you saw in, um, in your, what's it called? In your, like inside the scales prompt and in a Kahoot and uh, this is kind of the next idea, okay? So we can define our own functions that are pretty much shortcuts or copy and paste things to get that same smile to appear. For example, right now I did void smile Smile is my own very own function that I'm defining. It's gonna stand in for all this code on what it means to draw a smiley face, okay? This is what it used to be when all the code was like here. You follow? So I copy and paste into the here. I press play. And notice I don't see anything to the screen. Why is that? Because inside the draw function, it is blank. I didn't tell the computer to draw anything. Just like with ellipse, right? If there's nothing inside the draw function, I don't tell it to draw a circle, well then it's not going to draw a circle. Here, I didn't tell the computer to draw a smiley face, therefore there's no smiley face. In order for the computer to tell the computer to draw a smile, I must use said function. Just like you would with an ellipse, okay? I made this thing called smile, I'm using my function called smile. And now when I press play, you see that, ah, my output, there it is. It's arrived. But we can do even better, okay? Because at the moment, the smiley face, right, it only draws in the same position every single time. We can do a little bit better. We can, like an ellipse, give it a center and tell it where to be drawn. So let's go ahead and write code that would involve doing that. So up here, it's going to involve input arguments, int x and int y. Our goal is to then use these variables inside these functions that draw the shapes. And then over here, like, oh, I want my smile at like 300, 300, right? And then later, I want my smile at like uh, 600, 600, so on and so forth. And I should be able to see like two smiles. That's where we're going. That's how you would get from like one scale to like a hundred or a billion scales on your screen. But not just yet, so uh, let's wait. First, you add on this stuff. These are input arguments to my smile function. My smile function is getting a little bit more complicated because now I can feed it an xy coordinate. So this would work, right? But it just keeps drawing it in the same spot. It doesn't utilize the input of 300 for the x and the input of 300 for the y, okay? Like down here, right? I do 600, 600, it does the same thing. In fact, it draws a smiley face right on top of the other one. No good, right? We want it to be like down here or something, or even to the right. Thus, as we think about, it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to show, and I kind of miss the zoom annotations, okay? So if you follow my mouse, we're gonna to try to define the, um, the body, right? So that ellipse, it has a center, right? Right, right where my mouse is, like its nose. That's gonna be its center. So right here, for x and y, that's kind of an easy change. Wherever my body of my or the head of my smiley face will be, that's going to be the center. Next, let's try to fix. Here's the smile. Okay, let's do the eyes next because that's a little bit easier. Okay, notice relative to the center where the eyes are. Okay, if this was x and y, let's say this one you went what up fifty up like 60 pixels, and then you went right, another set pixels like 50 pixels, and then here for it to be symmetric because we're not lopsided in our smiley faces, we went left 50 pixels, yeah? Follow? So that means, okay, over here, 
this x coordinate of my center, just focusing on the left and right directions, what am I doing? I'm saying the eye's x coordinate is 50 to the right. For the right eye, the based on this center where my mouse is, to the left will be the x coordinate of this eye. Okay. Let's. <laughs> okay. Now here, here's the funny part. Okay, I'm gonna press play, and without fixing all the code, let's see what it looks like. It's gonna be kind of funny, I think. See. So now I, I have detached the eyes and the bodies away from um, the this actual smiley faces. Notice that we have to move the eyes along with the x co uh, y coordinates in order for the eyes to stick to said face. Yeah. So what was once 140 is going to be let's see, 60 less than what it was before. Relative to the center of the smiley face, it was 60 pixels upwards along its face, like so. So now when I press play, the eyes move along with its body. Okay, we're getting there. Notice now this circle, which, sorry, uh, like that, okay? Notice this uh, smiley face is now centered at 300, 300. The eyes went with it. Well, we're going to work on the smile. And then for this guy, its center is about 600, 600, and the eyes went with it. See that? Yes? So let's try to do the same with this uh, arc. Think about it for a little bit. Uh, sure. So if I follow from before, this one can be x, this one can be y, this one is x plus 30, this is y plus 30, I think. Let's see if that's right. A little bit of guessing and tricking. I'm kind of there. What's up? So this is first. So leave this two and two. All right, cool. So pro tip from Matt over here. It looks like I just need to change the first set. Appreciate that. And now the smile has moved with it. We have now just very similar to what you're going to do with your own scale, right? We had a base smile function, right? A shortcut for drawing one single smiley face. And we did introduce some variables. And now we can place this smile wherever we want. Questions or comments? Let's make it even bigger. Let's fill my entire screen. OK? I want to see everything. All right, cool. You see your two smiley faces, yes? All right. Then we get even better, OK? Because we're going to draw, like, maybe another smiley face over here, another one, like, uh, over here, OK? Look at all the smiles we can now generate without having to copy and paste all said code. Wow. That's amazing, Mr. Chan. Thanks, student. Ta-da. Oh, no. What happened to my eye? Uh, <laughs> OK. I don't know what happened to this smiley face's eye. How strange. So where do we go from here? OK. Let's draw some rows and columns. So I want a certain number of rows and a certain number of columns. And I pretty much uh, gave you some really good starter code for your, uh, for your scale assignment. So there's my outer inner loop. That's the inner, 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 inner loop. Yes, inner loop. Here's my outer loop. And then I do like j less than, uh, sure, 1,000 for now. j equals j plus, how big is my radius? 300? Sure. Something like that. We can always fix the spacing. So this is just a rough guesstimate. Uh, let's see, let's see. And then I do, I'm lazy, so I go up here to edit. And then they have auto format. And then it fixes it for me. Now I can do something like smile. Like that. I guess a better name would be x and y, because we're, we're dealing with coordinates here. Y is on the outside to control the rows instead of J, and then X on the inner loop. So that changes our columns. And let's see what happens. Neat. Ah, why is it my right eye disappears on some smiley faces? How strange. <laughs>
That's weird. I probably deleted something. Ah. Um, here? Oh, thank you. Good catch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that fixes it. All right, cool. Ta-da! We have a wall of smiley faces. So if I was some weird animal on some other planet, this could be my sales function assignment, yes? I just have, like, tattooed on my body a bunch of smiley faces, and I call that my pattern, yes? I'm the smile animal. Do you want to keep going, or is that enough for today? What do you think? You guys want to do a little more? Yeah, a little, little more? Okay, good, Emily. So, let's go and use some random numbers in here. Ooh. So, very much like a coin toss, we have a 50-50% chance to either smile or let's just draw, <laughs> let's just draw a, a, a straight face, okay? We're not going to frown this morning, this Tuesday morning. So, 50%, I draw my normal smile. The other 50%, I draw a straight line for my faces. Uh, let's see. We can go even more. I want even more smiles on my screen, okay? There we go. And, and some smiley faces are cut off, that's fine. You, got, you can adjust it to your liking. So let's see how we would do that. So it reviews random numbers that we used yesterday, okay? So let's see, let's see. It's not always going to smile. Somehow, right, this function is going to be a little bit more complicated. So in like fake code or pseudo code over here, it's like if I'm, uh, if, if my probability, right, is like less than like 0 0.5 less than okay I'm gonna smile otherwise okay this one's my smile otherwise I'm gonna draw a straight face which I think I know how to do we're just gonna use like a line function so that means I need x coordinates relative to my center let's call that x and y, and then the other one's going to be based on x and y. Uh, I'm going to move down a couple pixels for both the x and y coordinates. Uh, for one of them, I'm going to move left a couple pixels, let's say 50. And then for the other one, I'm going to move right 50. So that should get me a small straight face based on my center down the screen. Yes, OK? So th this is probability. It looks like probability, and it's, it's fine. Um, so now we do uh, math. Oops. Let's, let's go to actual code now. OK. So just like from your worksheet with the probabilities, you can do math, capital M, dot random, like so. OK. And that's going to give us a decimal. Math dot random can be used in this way. And on the off chance it is bigger than 0 0.5, then we will draw this line. Okay? I think this should work out okay. This is the this is the not smile. Cool. Well, let's press play and find out. Test early and often. Oh gosh! No, that's not what I wanted, but kinda is, right? It's like a mustache appears every so often, but. This is, this is the unintentional side effect where the draw function runs again and again. So each time, it's like each, each smiley face is being flipped. Not quite what I want, but hey, pretty close, eh? So if we wanted this to like just draw once and stop, we could probably go up here and say no loop to make it draw just once. Okay, notice now I have 50-50% chance, chance of straight face and then a smile. See that? Yes? And if I press play again, like why don't we watch this guy over here, right? The very first one that's not cut off. To show you that it's actually being random, this person over here sometimes is going to be straight face, sometimes it's going to be a smile. The roll of my dice happens, um, darn it, come on. The roll, <laughs> smile, smile, oh there we go, see, see this one? It's smile now, okay? So it's different. Questions or comments? Using a little bit of probability in your scales assignment really does make it a bit more realistic. Um, so the new ideas in summary, when you are working with your scale, uh, you're going to have a scale function like that, 
Okay? You're going to have x and y coordinates because you want to change the position of things. And you have to be a little bit creative and think about x and y like a center. You want to offset it by certain amounts so that you can repeat its code over here, yes? And draw and not have to copy and paste everything over and over again to get it into the right spots. I hope that's helpful. Uh, there is another demo. I might save it for tomorrow because I already did a lot of talking today. Please work on your scales assignment. Please work on your probabilities worksheet. And then anything else you want regraded or finished, that concludes today's demo.